so many Americans believe that your administration is not doing enough to combat inflation? And do you believe that you and your administration bear some measure of responsibility for the inflation that we're seeing across the country? First is we're in power. That's the first thing. And you justifiably right, we control all three branches of the government. Well, we don't really. We have 50-50 in the Senate. You need 60 votes to get major things done. I've been pushing the things I've been proposing here. You've heard me speak to today since I got in office. And I have I need to get 60 votes to be able to even pass them. Number one. Number two, uh, I think that, uh, um, you know, it's they're, they're not focused. They're just, all they're focused on, understandably, is the problem they're facing. They get a five and a half percent raise and average raise in their salaries. And yet inflation exceeds that. And they look around the world and they know that a lot of it's extremely complicated. And so they're frustrated. And I don't blame them. I really don't blame them. There's a lot we have to do. And but you know as well, I shouldn't say you. I think what I have to do is explain in simple, straightforward language what's going on. Like, the reason why 30 percent of the inflation last year is because automobiles cost more. Why'd they cost more? They couldn't get the computer chips to make them. People were making a lot more money. They wanted to buy the automobiles. They couldn't buy them because the costs went up so high because there were so few of them. The same way this year. The same way this year. The reason why prices are up.